The India's Chandrayaan 3 mission to the moon is continues to send some interesting updates back to Earth. In the latest from the Indian Space Research Organization, the Vikram lander has now detected tremors from the surface of the moon. The Pragyan rover continues to take a stroll around the lunar surface, looking for safe paths for navigation. The mission has also detected some seismic activity on the moon. The instruments that records lunar seismic activity, also known as ILSA, is a scientific payload on the Vikram lander. It is the first microelectrical electromechanical systems technology based instrument that has ever landed on the moon. While recording the movements of rover and other payloads, it has also recorded a natural seismic event after landing. The source of this event is currently under investigation. Now, these records can also contribute to developing enhanced designs for upcoming lunar visitors just over a week after the lunar landing. India is in fact supposed to launch its first ever mission to the sun and it will take off in less than 24 hours. Now, Aditya L1 is all set to launch towards the sun from a launch pad located in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. And this will be India's first space-based observatory class craft to study the sun. The countdown for the mission has officially begun. A 23-hour, 40-minute countdown has, of course, commenced. And the launch is slated for 11.50 a.m. Indian Standard Time. And Vyond's Siddharth MP has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen in. It's just barely 10 days after India soft landed the Chandrayaan-3 craft near the Luna South Pole. And now the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, is back with yet another significant milestone in its spacefaring journey. So we're just coming to a head of the launch of India's Aditya L1 spacecraft. This is India's maiden mission to study the sun. Aditya L1, of course, the mission right now is uh, in its countdown phase. There is a countdown that's underway until 11.50 a.m. on Saturday. That's when the PSLV XL vehicle, the largest variant of the PSLV rocket, will blast off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center's first launch pad. Let's remember that the Aditya craft will be pushed 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. The craft will be taking a journey that will last uh, almost 125 days. And this is also a very significant journey because very important scientific gains are expected from this for Indian researchers and Indian academia. The sun is the sole power source for the entire solar system. For the Earth, this is the nearest star. And this is a dynamic star that uh, Aditya L1 will be studying, the sun. And also some of the most important and mysterious phenomena that affect the Earth and also, you know, leave Earthlings in wonder happen because of the sun. We're talking about the northern and southern lights, the Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis. So these are also very scenic phenomena. These happen because of, you know, high energy particles that are discharged from the sun. They reach the Earth atmosphere. And this is what causes the northern and southern lights. In addition to that, highly charged particles from the sun also pose a risk they could damage the spacecraft that are in Earth orbit. So these are the phenomena that are significantly, you know, caused by the sun. Aditya L1 will be trying to study all of this. Aditya L1 will be trying to study the sun in great detail from its vantage point, that is 1.5 million kilometers away from the surface of the Earth. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Sriharikota, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.